Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everybody's been safe and healthy out there. I was sitting here working on the Trendy Week City New York design, and I tried something new. So I think I'm going to have to take it down because I don't think I'm going to like it. So that means it's going to take me even longer to display it because I've got it almost halfway done. But then why I came on today. I came on today. This is a call. You know, none of us is perfect. None of us are perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. But when things are going on in my life, I've learned to seek God's face for guidance. And you guys, we need some true intercessory prayer warriors right now in the season. In the name of Jesus, every foul spirit that is trying to use your vessel right now, I command to go. We need some true intercessory warriors in the scene for this nation right now. Because even though the enemy meant it for evil, or God meant it for our good, you guys, we have a Jezebel of power and money that has orchestrated by the enemies. This is the enemy's command over this land. I know you hear a lot about the Passover. That's power, money, a satanic force behind it. And people is using their money. Now this is where I say you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you do not have a divine gift and anointing upon your life, this is what will happen. We have spiritual wickedness in high places with money who is orchestrating and using actual real life vessels as sacrificial lambs right now in this time and season of the Passover. In other words, so they're slaughtering the nation. They're slaughtering real life people as sacrificial lambs. Now, if you go and if you read in Exodus and you study the children of Israel when they were being delivered out of Egypt, I, from, from up under Pharaoh's command and control, because God said, let my people go so they didn't go out into the world, wilderness and worship. You can see what is, that it is happening across the land right now. They meant it for evil, but God stepped in, and he's turned it around for his righteousness, who walk in him, they're good. This is why I say you have theologians and the Pharisees and Sadducees of this land that is operating not in the anointing, they have knowledge of the Bible and not um, operating in the uh, anointing of God and they have actually uh, allowing this to strike across the land in the natural. You can look at it. You don't got to take Heidi's word for it, but we need some true intercessory prayer warriors who desire that intimacy with God to intercede, begin to intercede on behalf of this nation. Because if not, they want to know about the future. As long as these spiritual wickedness in high places is um, giving the command and leading a, a spiritually blind nation, it ain't going to get no better. You're looking at the future right now. And until um, you, we begin to bind up these spiritual wickedness, that is trying to rule this land, you're going right back into enslavement. It ain't going to get no better. But God has a plan and desire for his people to prosper and to walk in um, his inheritance that he has for them. And yes, it can turn around. But it, it is according to the people. Because God said that he gave us dominion over the land, to till the land. And he just... He's in the mess, but he's also watching and seeing who is going to use their talent, who is going to hide their talent. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to go into prayer because that just dropped into my spirit. I ain't even prayed about that today. I ain't read no scripture about that today. I was sitting here working on this wig, and it dropped in my spirit, and God said, speak. And I'm, and I'm speaking in the name of Jesus. You guys be safe. Stay prayed up and keep watching.